Today's tutorial is an open chevron. So you're going to start by marking your blank with on the 0 and the 180 axis. And then we're going to measure the diameter. Mine numbers will be different, but you're going to take your diameter and multiply them by 3.14, which for me, it got me 68. So from the start, I measured out 68 millimeters. Then from that line, another 68 millimeters out. On the bottom, I have to offset it. So we take 68 divided by 2, which is 34, make a mark, and then go back to the 68. This is for open wraps, okay? Now, as you pull your thread, we're going to line it up on that pattern spacing that you just marked, which is the centers of the pattern, basically. And you're going to just make a simple X when you come back down the blank. And you want to make sure that you get all these lined up. If you see something that's off, just kind of push it back where it belongs. After you get the first thread on there, you're going to stop. And you're actually going to make sure that all of these are running on the 0 and the 180 axis so it stays straight. And it matches up with the marks that you made for your pattern spacing. Now, I want my chevrons to point towards the tip. So I'm going to wrap everything on the right side of that thread that I just put down. The right side. And also the right side coming back down the blank as well. After you get about five threads on there, you can stop and pack. And really it's just pushing everything close together, making sure it's nice and tight. It helps to keep it straight. It helps to keep it aligned. And as the wrap progresses, you start to see the chevron take shape better. And it points out. And you can stop whenever you feel like it. You can keep wrapping until it's closed. You can do this however you want to. But we did not take into account taper offset spacing. So for this particular setup, you do want to leave it open. And, you know, everything just keeps wrapping to the right. And you'll end up with something that looks like this. Hope that helps.